What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new iOS 7 jailbreak tweak called Home Screen Designer. Now you can see on my springboard right now that I have a 5x6 layout going on so I have 30 icons on my springboard not including the dock down there. Now what this tweak allows you to do is make your own layout for your device. Now you can even have different layouts for each page if you want to do that. So let's go ahead and jump into this app and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Now the first time that you open this up it's actually going to take you through a tutorial and teach you how to use it. But I'm going to take you on a little short tutorial. It's actually not very short. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use this and uh, so you can decide for yourself if you want to purchase it. So starting up here at the top right hand corner you have a little plus sign. If you tap on that it's going to give you one icon. If you tap and hold on it then you can set how many icons you want. So if you tap 20 then it's going to give you 18 more icons for a total of 20 icons. And then you can move them around just like this. Now that's pretty much all that that plus sign does. If we tap over here on the options you can show delete on icons which gives a little X right in the top left hand corner that you can tap on and it's going to delete it just like that. Now if you don't have the little X's right there then you can just tap and hold on an icon and then delete it like that. Also over here you have show icon labels that way you can have somewhat of an idea of the spacing that you need to do when you're setting up your layout. And if we tap over here one more time if you want to go through the tutorial again you can do so just by tapping on view tutorial. So starting down here in the middle with grid, if you show your grid and move an icon, it's actually going to snap into place just like that. That way you don't have any trouble lining up your icons. So it's very helpful when doing that. Now if you want to fill out the entire grid with icons, rather than hitting the plus sign and moving them each just like that, you can actually tap on the grid and then you can fill the grid. Now you can either delete the existing icons or keep the existing icons. What I'm going to do is delete them that way they're all in numerical order just like that. So you can see for the grid it started out with a 5 by 6. You can actually change this up if you tap on grid and then you tap on change grid size. All you have to do is tap the little plus or the minus and it's going to automatically change just like that. So if you want a 10 by 10 then you can do that just like that. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this even if you had this many applications. It's going to get really messy and really difficult to uh, see where you're tapping or what you're trying to tap on. So let's go back here and let's change this back to something a little more manageable. Let's do 5 by 5 Okay, so now we tap on grid again. You can hide the grid and that's going to allow you to move your little icons without having them snap into place. Now once you show it again, then you can move it and snap it back into place. Now here is your reset grid position if you alter your grid. Now you can alter your grid by pinching and zooming on the grid. So if we do that, you can see you have a little bit of trouble when you're trying to do that with the icon. So what you want to do is ignore icon touches. So now you have the ability to mess with the grid. Now all these icons are down here because I changed the uh, grid size and there were extra icons. So if you want to reset this then all you would have to do is first of all tap on grid and then we're going to reset the grid position so it's back to how it was and then we're going to hit grid again and we're going to uh, fill the grid and delete the existing icons. And then once you're done messing with the the grid size then you can just go down here and tap on acknowledge icon touches. Now over here on the right under image if you tap on that you can change the background image only if you have a background image in your themes. So if you don't have a theme downloaded that has a background then you're not going to be able to change that unless you go to your camera and use one of those. And also you have the ability to change the icon image also if you have a theme installed. So you can see I have perfect iOS installed. If I tap on that then you can just tap on the icon. It's going to change that. Now it's really not going to do anything in terms of uh, what it does to your springboard but you can just look at something different while you're uh, messing with that. But let's go ahead and reset that back to the original uh, icons here. Now over here once you're done setting up your entire layout you would just tap save and then you would save landscape and portrait or just say portrait or just save landscape. Now you can set this up however you want. It doesn't have to be an exact uh, line to line organized sort of thing. I mean you can really mess this up. So let's go ahead and get rid of the grid and let's just uh, 
mess these up, put them all around, and let's put the notification center back up. All right, so now let's just say that we want to save this for whatever reason. So we just tap on save. We'll save landscape and portrait, and we'll just call this mess number two because I actually already saved a mess. So it says the layout mess two has been successfully saved. To manage it, press on the save tab at the bottom. So down here at the bottom, you have three tabs. One is the layout maker, which is what we're in right now. The second one is the saved, which is where you're actually going to manage all your layouts, and that's where it actually saved. So if we go down here, here is the mess two that we just uh, made right there in the layout maker. Now we're not gonna actually apply that just because it's well, it's a mess, but you can see right here are the uh, previews of what each of these layouts look like. So here's one that it comes with is a five by five. Here's a five by six that I made another one that's called lots with, I don't even remember what the uh, grid was. And I also made a spiral one. Now these, this heart one right here, as well as the five by six iPhone five P list, they don't have any thumbnails and that's because these don't actually work. So this upload tab over here on the right, is where you can download already made layouts so you don't have to make your own but it's kind of glitchy and that's where the uh, the 5 by 6 one and this heart P list came from I was able to actually download them but they don't actually work so you can see when you tap on one it gives you a little down arrow that you're supposed to tap on to download and it can even say that it saved the P list so let's go back and you can see that it actually still doesn't work even if you applied this I've tried it about five times and it doesn't work so you can come back through here hopefully this will be fixed soon and it's going to give you a little preview of what this looks like right by the arrow and then you can decide which one you want to download also in the popular these are the ones that obviously are the most popular and you can download those just by tapping on them and then checking out the thumbnail right there all right, so now let's actually apply one. So let's say we wanted to apply the lots P list. So what we want to do is either apply the layout, view or modify, upload it. If you want to upload it to the, uh, the little section that we were just in right over here, if you want to do that, or you can rename it if you want to do that. So let's just apply the layout. And this is where you're going to apply to each page because each page can have a different layout so if we wanted the five by six to be on the first page and we wanted the lots to be on the second page then we would just tap on page two and there's the lots and you don't have to respring to actually change this up so if we go back to the springboard swipe over this is the lot so you can see that they're overlaying like crazy right there while on the first page it's still on that five by six layout which is basically in my opinion the most that you want to have on a uh, on your springboard unless you use a tweak like bigify or something like that to make the icons a little bit smaller so let's jump back in here and let's go to done and one thing i wanted to show you guys is one that i made well first of all i guess i can show you, you can view modify this is what i made earlier uh, and now let's go back and let's actually apply this so let's apply the layout we'll put it on the first page and we'll go back and so there you can see that we have a spiral on the front page. Now, if you download a free tweak like Bigify, then you can actually make it even a little bit cooler by scrolling down here, we'll tap on Bigify. You can change the rotation angle, which actually looks kind of good with the spiral. So I'm gonna change that just a little bit. Transparency, you can change that up if you want to. I am going to hide the icon labels just because it's a little less clustered that way. And then I'm going to scale down the size a little bit and make sure that that default scale is turned off. You can also make it affect the dock if you want to. I'm gonna not make it affect the dock. And then we're going to apply the changes. Now, once it resprings, it will look a little bit different, as you guys can imagine. All right, so now it's resprung, so let's slide to unlock. And there it is. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you can actually make with this uh, tweak. It's going to give you the ability to have pretty much any type of layout that you want to. And you can even have different layouts on different pages, which is actually pretty cool. Now one thing to mention is when you're tapping and moving these icons around, it's kind of glitchy as you can see. It's kind of hard to tell what you're doing, but if you just drop it, see you can tell that it kind of went out of whack there. But if we drop it right here, it should be, yeah, there we go. And I think I have one more little icon that can go right there. Let's see. 
Yeah, right there. So a really cool tweak, and I highly recommend it for you guys that are trying to get a new layout. I mean, there's really endless possibilities for this tweak. There's a ton of different stuff that you could do if you're the creative type. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com.